what we have been seeing in the last 20 or 30 or 40 years is a linear increase in life expectancy. 50% of that generation is going to live to 110, 112. We will have to get used to this type of numbers. And if more people are going to be living longer and longer, there will be more and more and more people, even if only 2.1 children are born to every woman, okay? Until that stops. So of course, this creates very uh, large changes in the way we have to organize our education, in, in how you know, work lives are going to be organized, how many years we're going to be working, when are we going to retire, how are we going to finance pensions. Imagine you can work until you're 90, until you're 100. By the time you're 50, you're done with your kids, you still have 50 years. And what are you going to do then? You will need to go back to school, like many people are doing today. You will need to learn new tools. The technology will be changing. So maybe everybody will go back to universities when they are 50, once they are done with their children, and they will go back and they will study for the next 20 years of their lives, of their professional lives. And then they will go back again and study for another 20 years. So basically, if you double life expectancy, it's like two lives in one and that requires two of everything.